Is a stationary bike good for seniors? Well, the World Health Organization, the WHO, says that walking for 30 minutes or cycling for 20 minutes on most days decreases mortality rate overall by about 10%. So it sounds like biking on a stationary bike would be perfect for seniors. Let's get into the ins and outs of it and see whether that's really the truth or not. Hi, it's Robin with SeniorSafetyAdvice.com. Tune into our channel for tips and hints for seniors and caregivers for aging in place safely. So of course, before a senior would start any exercise program, including a stationary bike, they would wanna be sure that they cleared that activity with their doctor, just to be sure there isn't anything that they have to worry about or a way that they have to adjust that activity. But in general, Walking and riding a bike are one of the best things that a senior can do for themselves. Now, what is the advantage of a stationary bike over riding outside in the fresh air and the sunshine? The advantage is that if you have inclement weather, you have a day where it's raining, like we've had around here lately, it's very easy to say, you know, I'm thinking I'm gonna stay home. Plus the fact that wet roads are, are more slippery. Um, if you have ice, of course, it's much more difficult to be held in snow and ice and who would want to. So having a stationary bike is a good way for a senior to get in, exor get in their exercise no matter what the weather is. Another thing that's good about stationary bikes is that, versus riding a regular bike, is that there is less chance of falling. That doesn't mean that you can't fall off of a stationary bike. If you got dizzy or you know passed out, whatever, obviously you're gonna fall, but there's much less distance to fall from sitting on a bike in, in a room and falling onto the carpet or onto a padded area than there is if you're riding a bike and you take a tumble on the side of the road. And a third good reason to be on a stationary bike is that it increases your heart rate, which is a good thing. It helps to get everything, the blood flowing, your circulation moving, but it doesn't increase it so high that people who have a heart condition can have a problem. Again, if you do have a heart condition, you wanna check with your doctor first, but in general, stationary biking is very safe for you. So there are two types, actually kind of three, but two main types of stationary bikes. One is the one that we're all familiar with. It's an upright bike where you're sitting on the bicycle just like you would if you were on a bicycle that was out on the road that you were actually riding. So this one, you're sitting straight up and down and then you're pedaling like you do with a normal bike. The other one is a recumbent bike. Now a recumbent bike, you're laying back a little bit more. The benefit of a recumbent bike over a regular stationary bike is that a recumbent bike has a backrest, which makes it much more comfortable for seniors to ride. It also takes the pressure off of your joints because you're laying more in a recumbent position, so you're not having that whole body weight on top of your back, you know, your, your um, pelvis, that kind of thing. Another advantage of a recumbent bike is that it's a little bit easier to get on and off of than a traditional bike, traditional stationary bike as well. Um, if you're somebody that has knee and joint problems, things like that that make it difficult, arthritis, um, you'll find it easier to get on and off of a recumbent bike. Now one drawback to a recumbent bike is that because you're in that reclining position, when you use it, you are not gonna get your heart rate up quite as high as you would if you were riding a traditional upright stationary bike. Not having the heart rate up as much isn't necessarily a bad thing, particularly if you are somebody who has a heart condition or circulatory problems. It can be better for you to have your heart rate a little bit lower, but you're still continuing to get exercise and get that blood moving. Again, clear it with your doctor. So I'm somebody who has used a treadmill for years and years in my home. I've run a marathon, several half marathons, and I like getting out and running. So, but if again, if it's bad weather, then I will use the treadmill in my basement. So now what if you had a senior loved one that you were say wanting to give them a gift for the holidays or a birthday? 
and you said, I'm going to give you a stationary bike. And like me, they said, mm, I think I'd rather have a treadmill. What do you do in that case? Well, the thing is, you tell them about the benefits of the stationary bike over the treadmill, and yes, there are many. So the first thing that is better for a stationary bike than a treadmill is the fact that it takes up less space in your house. There are some fold-away treadmills, but they're not quite the same thing as a regular treadmill that's going to go up and down and give you a lot of um, increase in your heart rate and in your stamina, that kind of thing. But a stationary bike takes up very little space, and depending on the type that you get, you can they have a feature where you can tighten that wheel down and make it more of a resistance so that the person is working out a little bit harder, just like they would if they were on a, a treadmill. Another benefit of the stationary bike over the treadmill is that it's less weight bearing. So again, if you are somebody, your loved one is somebody who has arthritis, they would do better to have the stationary bike because they're going to be able to use it in less pain. You know, if, you, if something is painful and it bothers you, you're not going to be inclined to use that piece of equipment. So having a stationary bike will make it much easier for them. Some stationary bikes also come with a, a handle that will move back and forth, almost like you're rowing, like an elliptical machine has. And that can be even better for a senior because of the fact that it can get their heart rate up and it gives them even better exercise than just sitting on the on than just sitting on a regular stationary bike. And the last benefit of the stationary bike over the treadmill is the fact that it's lower impact. So like me, when I run, I'm putting pressure on my knees, on my hips, on those joints. So again, somebody with arthritis, even walking may be painful for them. So having a stationary bike is a great way for them to get exercise without adding to the inflammation that already exists in their joints. So if you do get a stationary bike or you decide to use one in the gym, how long should you ride? Well, again, going back to the WHO, the, the World Health Organization, they recommend 20 to 30 minutes a day, most days, so say five days a week. What they really want you to do is get about 150 hours of exercise in a week. No matter how you break that up, as long as you get that, that amount of exercise, you're really benefiting your heart and your overall body. So things to think about as far as exercising on a stationary bike. If you have never done this before or you're not in any kind of shape to do this, again, first clear it with your doctor, but then you want to start out by working your way up. Don't just go for 30 minutes, five days a week right off the bat. You need to work into it slowly. So start off with 10 minutes. Maybe do 10 minutes every other day or twice a week for the first week or two. And as you find yourself getting more and more accustomed to it, you can make it 15 minutes, three days a week. You slowly, slowly work up, adding about five minutes a time, adding a day here and a day there until you slowly work up to that 150 minutes in a week. Once you've begun exercising, it's best if you can maintain a constant pace. So you don't want to ride for a minute and then sit for a minute, ride again for another minute or two. You'll get the most benefit out of maintaining a constant pace. Now I know the treadmill, the stationary bike, they can be boring. So if there's a way that you can sit in front of a television or even talk to somebody else in a gym, whatever, listen to podcasts or listen to music, trust me, it will make the time go by much faster. Also, make sure that you listen to your body. If you are starting an exercise program or even if you're already in shape, don't work through the pain if you find that you are suddenly in pain. It means there's something wrong. My husband the other day, he was working out with weights and his knee started to bother him, so he immediately quit and went on to different exercises and avoided that knee. And it was a good thing because he didn't try to pass, push through the pain and then his knee bothered him for a couple of days. If he had done that, he might have ended up injuring himself even further. So make sure you listen to your body. Also make sure that you have some water with you when you are exercising because you're going to be sweating and you expel water when you're breathing, especially if you're talking. So make sure that you're replenishing that water as well. 
So what about those little under desk exercisers? Every time or every so often you see a commercial for one of those where the person is sitting on the couch and they're pedaling and it's just a little thing that just has pedals. It's not really a bike. Are those good for you? I always look at them and say, that's not really working out. Actually, they are good for you. Not in the same way. They're not as good as a full workout on a stationary bike or walking or whatever, but they are keeping you moving. They are getting your heart pumping a little bit. They are keeping circulation going. So it can be something that is a good thing for a person who has no room at all in their house. I mean, some people have a very tiny, like my dad only had a, a little tiny one bedroom apartment, but a peddler like that, an under desk peddler, would have been a good thing for him because it would have gotten his heart going. One thing to caution you about those is that it can be tempting, like if you have a grandkid over or whatever, those pedals are there and, and it looks like it's fun to stand on. Don't stand on it. Don't let your grandkids stand on it because they'll fall off and get hurt. Alrighty, well that is my take on stationary bikes. I hope that it helped you and I hope that you will get out and do something, whether it's be at the gym on the bike, whether it's getting out and walking in the sunshine and the warm weather now that spring is right around the corner. Whatever it is, make sure that you're doing something to help get your heart rate up for that 20 to 30 minutes a day, most days, 150 minutes in a week. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you again for watching and until the next video, take care. Bye.